defend the team, defend the Prime Minister. Stand up with him, your MP. You talk about the, the man have 28, uh, 20, 28 account. He should have 30 account. We don't want a poor Prime Minister in the country. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this one, my people, plans to combine emancipation and independence day. According to the Observer, the private sector organization of Jamaica, POSOJ, has come out in support of a proposal to combine Jamaica's emancipation day and independence day into one national public holiday. The POSOJ said, the potential economic, cultural, and societal benefits of a shift in the Emancipence Weekend format will preserve and strengthen cultural heritage. By combining the two holidays into a dedicated period of national reflection and celebration, there is an opportunity to create a more robust, unified celebration that highlights both Jamaica's liberation from slavery and its journey to independence. They said it also serve as a platform for promoting local tourism and cultural activities attracting both domestic and international visitors. This will provide a much needed economic stimulus for the tourism, entertainment and cultural industries. It could also be a meaningful step in that direction and would hope for the government's implementation of same as soon as 2025. In a Don Anderson poll commissioned by the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport conducted in 2020, over 60% of Jamaicans supported a proposal to combine both holidays. So my people all along, them now support the whole Don Anderson, but them come a quote Don Anderson poll that was done from 2020, where they said 60% and more persons supported that them combine both holidays into one. Even the Chief Justice Brian Sykes says freedom cannot carry a price tag and that he dismisses the PSOJ proposal for revamping and combining Emancipation Day and Independence Day into one. Also, my people, we've seen former Prime Minister PJ Patterson basically debunking efforts to merge the two holidays. And we've seen how we had fought tooth and nail to basically get August the 1st to be our Emancipation Day and for it to be celebrated in Jamaica. And in basically saying that the step to merge the two holidays would be a retrograde step and a severe violation of our ancestry. One marks a commemoration and the other a celebration. It would be a betrayal of all our efforts to promote our own identity as a people. He also wanted to make it clear that it is not a partisan political position nor an expression of doubt on the accuracy of the Don Anderson poll, which was commissioned by the Ministry of Culture. So him no want to make it seem as if he don't believe in the accuracy of the Don Anderson poll and he's not coming from a political place as well. But he says to determine where we are going, we must know from whence we came. Slavery is the most heinous crime against humanity. It is not Queen Victoria who set us free. It is the rebellion of our four parents and their resolute struggle, which when combined with the drop in economic terms of forced labor, served to hasten the abolition of slavery. The Abolition Act earned 20 million pounds for the slave owners and compelled the slaves to repay them an additional sum calculated at 27 million pound by their forced apprenticeship for four more years. Our inheritance was poverty, disease, ignorance, and homelessness. So for their emancipation freedom on August 1st, 1838, our ancestors paid for their freedom with blood and taxpayers of succeeding generations paid for a debt which was so huge that payment of the loan amounting to billions of pounds in today's current value was only completed 
in 2015. So my people, I want to hear your thoughts and opinion in the comment section. Tell me if you agree or disagree of merging these two holidays because all for the PSOJ is just for business. It's only about money for them. You understand? That is why they keep making these proposals to merge these two holidays into one. Talk up my people and tell me what you think. Because money cannot pay the price of what our foreparents had to forbear in the whole slavery. Anyways, my people, in this segment, we see a pastor basically speaking on the whole Andrew Wallace. 28 accounts on the whole IC report and findings. And him even go as far as to say Andrew should have even have 30 accounts. Them no one of Prime Minister were poor. But me, I make gonna listen to the whole like my people. And uno be the judge of it. Jump on the comments in the comment section and tell me what you think. Andrew Holness should have over 30 this. bank accounts and be the richest man in Jamaica. Riz the MP pay and raise him pay to him to 300%? Yes, sir. 300%. And before the MP them turn up with him and say, this is how it's going to happen. Yes. See them run the corner. <laughs> you know how hard they work. They can get strokes on the road. Yes. They can get strokes on the job because those type of job is pressuring. Yes. They look on 900 and 1,000 to get per month. They will be spinning back in their constituency. Yes. They don't make the money unless they get some contracts. When you're a team, the team nothing wrong. No. You defend the team, defend the Prime Minister. Yeah. Turn up with him, you're MP. Yeah. You talk about did the man have 28, uh, 20, 28 account. He should have 30 account. Yeah. We don't want a poor Prime Minister in the country. Yeah. The man was multi time rich. If I'm me like the Prime Minister, me alone go to the cabinet and make MP them go sit down. Me alone walk in the cabinet and point finger, move that, fix that, and pull on that. Until me can see, because you have some, you have some JLP in a PMP seat, you know? and you have some PMP in a JLP seat. Mr. Holness, you must open your eyes and find them. I'm not everybody with you. No. I'm not everybody gonna stand with you. No. 28 account is not enough for a Prime Minister. You have businessman in Jamaica have 20 billion dollars in them account. Who if you reach out my Prime Minister? You're crazy? Prime Minister should have 50 account. In pay should have raised five hundred percent. You know the bird man careful country? Yeah. Road fix. Do not go up. Him can't please the whole country. No. At the same time. No. It takes time. Yeah. Come to the man. Prophet Roe can't please the whole church. No. Never. Never. You give 300 people back to school, you have to tap, else you will kill me, I end up poor. I said, I me things that I don't give back to school. I mean, look, I said, back to school still I come. I mean, September has gone a long time. I just, at Christmas I come, and people still come to me, they don't get back yet. They don't get back yet. They don't get shoes yet. I have to try over church early and run before they come. They hide. They hide. not want no poor Prime Minister in Jamaica. The no. Prime Minister must be the richest man in Jamaica. Yeah. Not about. 
I will defend him to a T. Anyone come against him, what happened to them cause it? Because power is in shadows. Back to Bible now. We don't talk about that. Talk up my people. Let me know what I say. Like up the video, share it out. On the road to 30k, help me to get there, my people. Get this video to at least 4,000 likes. Spread that one near and far. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more updates. Big up on yourselves.